Hey people, welcome to Naseke's Kitchen. I'm going to show you how I prepare this dinner. First, I marinated uh, this chicken using caster powder and nutmeg and also with salt and then I let it um, sit for a day and then I microwaved for about 18 minutes and then here it's cooking now it's cooking I'm deep frying and then I'm going to let them brown I'll use this stock later so I've started turning and you can see how brown it looks I really love the color so you keep on turning I let them cook for about five minutes. Yeah, they're almost ready. You can see they're browning so well. They are ready. I'll remove them and set them aside. Here they are. In another cooking pot, I'm going to add um, cooking oil and some salt, add onion, Turn, and then I let them cook for about one to two minutes. Add some garlic. Stir a bit. Then I'll add my chicken that I had fried. Mix nicely until everything mixes well together. Add some seasoning spice. Mix again nicely. At this stage, I'm going to add blended tomatoes. Then mix everything together. Then 
then I'll cover and let it cook nicely. Can see it has started cooking so well. I'll mix a bit. Add the stock that I had put aside earlier on. So after five to six minutes later, it was ready. I added my coriander. Yeah, and let it cook for a minute. And then I will set aside. And this dinner was for very special guests. If you are Luya and you know, you have chicken, you can understand. It was a VIP treatment. Next, I started um, peeling my potatoes and then I was making potato wedges. That is how they are cut. So I was cutting and setting them aside. And for this dish, it's going to be a balanced diet because we're going to have proteins, starch, and vegetable. Yeah. So I'm done with the protein. Now I'm getting into the starch. So the, the chapati already was done with it and guys that is the eye of the potato when you're peeling you ensure that you remove it yeah. so i was telling you if you're from western and you are a vip they always prepare chicken for you that is a VIP treatment. Yeah, not meat or beef. Yeah, chicken. So guys, those are my diced. Not diced, yeah. Those are my wedges. I've put them in the cooking pot. Then I've added some salt and adding water. And then I'm going to blanch them. Blanching means they're not going to cook. They're just going to cook a bit and then you remove them. That is what blanching means and we're going to blanch them. So I'm going to cover and let them cook for about five minutes and then be ready. Yeah. Then I'm trying to test if they're okay. see it's good to go that's how I test if they are blanched well so in another cooking pot I've added cooking oil and I'm going to add them and give them time to cook I want them crunchy so I'm going to give them time so that they can cook nicely So I'm using a fork to turn gently so it's ready in another cooking pot I'm going to add some oil then add some salt add some onions and for this I'm preparing the vegetable, it is a Kenyaji vegetable. On the other banner, the potato wedge are cooking also. 
I'm going to add the kenyeji and tan. It's going to take like a minute or two. Then it will be ready. I don't want to overcook it so that the nutrients will still remain in the vegetable. So I'll just be turning and turning and turning. I covered. Yeah, it's now ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover and set it aside. Then my potato wedge were also ready. I'm going to remove them and set them aside. Don't they look amazing? So I was serving two masters at the same time. Just look at that. Here there, I've already served our greens are there. Our chicken is there. Our chapatis are also here, they're ready. Yeah. So our guests will be happy. Now this is what I'm telling you. This is what I prepared for our guests. Proteins, vegetable and starch. Don't they look amazing? So guys, subscribe, comment, share, like. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.